Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is that time again, usually about every three months I come on and share with you everything I have accumulated in my empties stash, all of the beauty products that I have gone through. I actually have quite a few makeup products, so I think I'm gonna film that separately because this would just be way too long of a video if I included it with my skin and hair care. So this is just gonna be skincare, body care, and hair care. And then you can keep an eye out for my makeup video whenever I am able to film that. So again, it has been three months since I posted my last empties. And I had a comment on an empties either last time or the time before about there's no way you go through all that stuff. I think I mentioned this before. I have no reason to lie to y'all about what I go through. This is what I go through. I use a lot of serums on my body as well. So that's why, you know, I go through serums a lot. I use a lot of different serums in both of my AM and PM skincare routines. So that's another reason why I just go through a lot of products. So let's start out. I'm going to start with hair because I only have four products. Two of them are from the brand Hyel, which I've talked about quite a lot. And this is the Complete Recovery Complex. This is the hair serum that aids in like regrowth and the strength and health of your hair, which I need because I definitely have very thin hair. And then this is the Volume Shampoo, which is one of my very favorite shampoos of all time. I have a whole video on Hyel. If you have not seen it, I will link it in a card so you can check it out. But these are products that I imagine I will always have in my rotation and I'm currently going through another bottle of both. So they were definitely repurchased and I'm still loving them. Another shampoo I went through is the Daveness We shampoo. I think that's how you pronounce it, O-I. And this is also a great shampoo. I've talked about this in one or more of my hair videos that I have posted in the past. Daveness is a great brand. This smells good. It did not smell good to me when I first got it. It took some growing on me to appreciate it, but now I really like it. And I do a double cleanse, kind of the same concept as my face I do on my hair, so I shampoo it twice. And sometimes I will use the same shampoo both times, and sometimes I'll switch it up, which is why I go through multiple shampoos at a time. So again, Daveness We Shampoo. And then the only other hair product that I have is a mini of the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. I've talked about many, many, many times how this is my very favorite dry shampoo. I do feel like it really helps clean the hair as well as give some volume, give it another day before I have to wash it. And I like that you have the options of getting the travel size and the full size. I'm currently going through a full size because I took part in a promotion that was on the Living Proof website where, where if you spent a certain amount of money, you got a free full size. So a full size was part of my order and then I got a free one. So I've got two backups of the big one of this because I just don't wanna be without it. I use dry shampoo every probably third day on my hair. Now let's start into, well, no, let's get rid of body care and then we'll start and do all of the skincare. Again, I only have four products in body care. One is a little travel size of one of my very favorite self tanners. This is from Coco and Eve and it is the Bali Bronzing Foam or Bali Bronzing Foam, however you wanna pronounce it. And this is in the shade Medium. And I really like this. It came as a, a set with like the glove, the mitt to try it out. And I repurchased the full size in the dark, which I really like as well. I find that this is a very believable color, but it's also something that fades evenly and lasts a good while. I might use this like once a week. And then in between, I might add a couple of my bronzing drops from Farmhouse Fresh that I've talked about that I love so much into my moisturizer and use that to kind of maintain my color, but I really like this and I did repurchase. And then I have three body lotions, two of which are what I call skincare body lotions, the Neogenesis Body Cream and the Definage Lux Hand and Body Cream. I love a skincare based body lotion. Most of the time, I mean, let's be real, pretty much all the time they're gonna be more expensive than something that you can pick up you know, at a drugstore or Bath and Body Works, but they also are infused with true skincare. And I feel like we sometimes, at least I do, neglect the skin on our body in comparison to how much we take care of the skin on our face and neck. 
and even chest. So I like having some kind of skincare body lotion in my rotation, and I typically tend to use them only on my chest and my arms to keep them lasting longer. I like both of these. I have no qualms or cons or anything to say about them badly. I also really like the Sente body lotion and those these th these two and that one, can't speak, are probably my top three. And then another body lotion that I have, and I'm so sad it's gone and you're gonna see, I all but cut it open to get everything out, is my beloved coffee and whiskey body cream from Bath & Body Works. Please, Bath & Body Works, bring coffee and whiskey back this holiday because it is still hands down my favorite Bath & Body Works scent to ever have been made. And I was very sad to finish this, but I am also not one that's going to let something sit and not be used for fear of using it up because it just doesn't make sense to me. I love this so much. I have it in the cologne. I have it in the body mist. I need it to come back out. All right, let's jump into skincare and I'm going to start off with cleansers. I only have two cleansers. I'm rotating through so many right now, and I'm right on the cusp of being done with like two of them. So I'm probably next empties. I'm gonna have a lot of cleansers, but this is the last one you're gonna see of this because they have since discontinued it, and it is the Matte Cleanse Off Oil. Now they did come out with another cleansing oil. I have not tried it yet. I'm very bitter about the fact that they discontinued this one, and I think I'm just, staying bitter and don't want to try the new one because I'm just telling myself it can't be as good as this one. However, I have found something that is half the price and that I love just as much that I will be talking about if I haven't already in my nighttime skincare routine. And then I'm also going to be doing a separate video on it. But this is the last one that you're going to see of this. It was my favorite and now it's gone. For a cleanser, I have the Refer Gentle Cleanser. Y'all, this stuff is good. It is good, and I have a couple of backups, and I am going to be pulling it out once I get through some of the ones that I'm about to finish right now. But this is a cleanser that is 15% based in glycerin, which is a very, very hydrating, moisturizing ingredient. It's got green tea extract, aloe vera extract, hyaluronic acid. It's just nice. I really enjoy using this in the morning or as a second cleanse, but the morning is just very gentle as it states, gets the job done. Like it a lot. And then the Sephora Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover, I feel like it's in every single one of my empties. It's my favorite. I'm trying out a couple of different ones right now, and while they're perfectly fine, I don't know that I like them any more than this one. Let's talk about toners, and I'm going to put essences in with toners because I just have two of these little bitty essences from Neogen. This is Neogen Dermatology Real Ferment Micro Essence, 93% microbioferment complex. Now, from what I've heard, this is supposed to be a dupe for the SK2 essence that everybody talks about. I have never used that, at least if I have, it's been so many years that I have forgotten. I really enjoy this. I like how you can get the little baby mini sizes for travel and this particular set had three in them so i'm still working through a third one but it is a great essence if you like including an essence definitely try these out because i have enjoyed them and again while i can't compare them to the sk2 everybody else has and i know that's a cult favorite so might be worth looking into because this one is definitely more affordable and then the isn't tree green tea fresh toner the new packaging looks nothing like this one i am going through a new one i like to use a green tea toner before my red light mask and this is my choice so the isn't tree green tea fresh toner again another k beauty favorite that is very affordable now let's talk about masks. I don't typically have a ton of masks, but I have really been getting into them more lately. I remember a time in my skincare life where I would mask five to six times a week with some kind of skincare mask. And I'm trying to get back into that because I really enjoyed how my skin looked then. And I have three sheet masks and they are all the same brand and mask, and it is the Skin 1004 Madagascar Centella Water Gel Ampule Mask. Again, three of them. I bought these in a pack of five, I believe, and I really need to re-up them because I love this mask. Now, it has so much serum in it that I almost, that not almost, I have to wring out a little bit of it before I put it on my face, or it will just drip down my neck and chest. It is so saturated. But once I do that and put it on, it is extremely hydrating. It always leaves my skin looking refreshed and calm and soothed. 
and it's probably one of my very favorite sheet masks that I've ever tried. And again, K-Beauty, very affordable. I really like the Skin 1004 line. And then this one, I have a couple. I don't know where the empties of that went, but a couple of my current body hydrogel eye masks that I like to use when I use my red light eye mask that I've talked about in videos before. So again, I don't know why I don't have more of those because I knew, no, I used more of them, but there was only one in my empties. And then I have three of these itty bitty Biologique Recherche mask samples. <laughs> and I always get these when I purchase from Bisma at um, Aqueous Scottsdale. And she always puts in some little samples and, and I've got the Bio Magic mask, which is energizing facial mask. The mask Viso Lustine Plus, which is for long lasting moisture. And then that mask VIP O2, which is oxygenating and anti-pollution mask. I don't know that I have a favorite out of all these. One of these little containers is one mask, at least for me. And I have never had any issues with it. I really like it. Let me know your favorite Biologique Recherche mask because I'm sure eventually I will buy a full size, but I really love these little minis because I keep a stash of them for when I travel and I'll stick one in my toiletry bag. It takes up next to no room and I've got the perfect amount for that night. And then I included the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask because it had mask in the name. <laughs> and this is just the original berry flavor. I love this. I love Laneige. I'm going through one of the mini chocolate mint ones right now, which I also really like. I have the mini pumpkin in my travel bag, always ready for me to go. It's one of my very favorite lip masks to wear at night before I go to bed. It's always still there the next morning and does a really good job at hydrating the lips. I have two eye products, which are two of my favorites. This is the Color Science Total Eye Firm and Repair Cream. And this is in my top five eye creams of all time. I really like it. I've gone through multiple bottles of it. I did not repurchase because I've got a lot of eye creams I'm going through right now, but I highly, highly recommend it. It has caffeine in it, so I really like to use it in the mornings because I do feel like it helps temporarily plump and brighten up the eye area to get it ready for makeup application. So Color Science Total Eye, and then the Neogenesis Eye Serum and I've talked about this a lot. It's Neogenesis, can't go wrong with that brand in my opinion. And this is an eye serum. For me, it is not enough moisture on its own. So I will use it just like I use serums on my face and I will top it with some kind of eye cream like I would top any other serums on my face with a moisturizer. Very good though. It has that stem cell technology that all the Neogenesis products have and I can't speak highly enough. I only have one moisturizer. That is how many I am going through right now. And just like the cleansers, I feel like I have a lot that are just on the cusp of being finished. So next empties is probably gonna be full of them. But this is one that I, last night, just opened my backup of, and it is the Allies of Skin Peptides and Antioxidant Firming Daily Treatment. Talked about this love this so much. It is a combination of seven brighteners, eight antioxidants, and seven peptides. It is an all-in-one product for me. I am leaving in a couple of days. I will be in Florida for a week, and this is the only moisturizer I'm going to take. In the mornings, I might add another vitamin C. I might not. I might only wash my face and use this because this has everything I need in it. So if you're someone who likes a very minimalist routine, or if you are someone who does travel a lot and does not like to take a lot of toiletries with them and wants a few steps in one, definitely try this out. Or if you're someone who just appreciates really good skincare, try this out as well. So again, I am completely done with this. And when you think you're done, you really have quite a bit left if you really squeeze the bottom, but I am done done with this. And again, I had a backup and it is out and ready to be packed up for Florida. And before I get into my serums, which is always my biggest category, I do have one random, and it is the Scoro Lash Eyelash Volumizing Growth Serum. I talked about this in my June, yes, we are in July, June favorites, and it is something that I forgot to mention in my nighttime skincare routine, but it is what I have been using for the past few months as my eyelash serum, and I feel like it has maintained my lash growth very well from when I was using Revitalash. Still love Revitalash if you missed that 
video, but this is prostaglandin free. So I like to have options to give people depending on what their choices are when they are shopping for a lash serum. I have tried other prostaglandin free lash serums and this is by far my favorite. Let's get into serums. It's always my biggest category. I have 11 of them. So let's hop in real quick. I will try not to spend too much time on the ones that I have spoken about a lot before. If you are new to my channel and you're like, well, you may have spoken about them, but I haven't heard about them. Just simply search my channel for the name and all the videos that I've talked about it in will show up. And that of course is going to be my Neogenesis Stem Cell Serum. I have two booster serums right now. I think I was almost done with one of them when I filmed my last video. So one of these lasts me about three months. I use one to two pumps a day and this is just by far my favorite stem cell slash growth factor slash that kind of thing serum that I have ever used. I have gone through countless ones since I discovered Neogenesis. I will continue to go through them. I like to use Booster in the more fall and winter cooler months because it has added hydration properties to it. And then in the spring and summer, I use Recovery, which is what I'm currently using. I, I mean, I just can't, y'all. Just go back and look. I have talked about them so much. I have a separate Neogenesis video. I can't say anything bad about it. My skin loves these. And same with the Osmosis Rescue, which I feel like is always in my empties. This is great for inflammation. It's great for redness. And while I feel like I will always have one of these in my rotation, I'm currently using one and I also have a backup. I am also testing out some other serums as well as some mists like the Pie Century Flower Mist. Mist? No mist that I talked about in my faves and my nighttime skincare routine that I feel like serves the same purpose as this. So I don't know that when I'm done with both of those, if I'm going to keep both of them in and I will have to decide which one I'm going to keep because I do feel like they're a little redundant. However, the pie knocked out my redness quicker than any other product that I think I have ever used. So right now, that's maybe a little on the top, but we're gonna get through what we have and make our decision later. But this has always been a favorite and I always have it in my empties. Another Osmosis product that I have is the Correct Retinal Serum. I do not use this on my face because basically everything other than the Rescue in the Osmosis line breaks me out. So I was sent a couple of serums from them and I have been using them on my chest and my neck because for some reason my chest and my neck do not break out using them. So that's where I was using this correct. I would use it every night all over my neck and all the way down my chest. And I mean, it's great there. I just can't use it on my face. When I got done with the correct, because I finished that shortly after my last empties, I started using the Polish Choice Resist Triple Active Total Repair Serum all over my chest and decollete area because this is a niacinamide and retinol serum. I already use a retinaldehyde. I try to not put a ton of niacinamide on my face and I did not want this to go to waste because I personally think Polish Choice products are great and they sent this over and I was like, you know what, I'm not wasting it. I'm going to use it. And again, it worked great on my chest. So that's where I use this and finish that up. The retinaldehyde that I am currently using and loving is the Medicaid Crystal Retinal 10. And this is my last empty one of those. Currently going through another one. My favorite retinaldehyde. I can't speak enough about it. My skin really, really likes it. And again, it's the only thing I take with me when I travel. So I have it ready in my toiletry bag to go to Florida. And it is one of the few steps I do at night, especially when I travel. I will cleanse, tone, do this, maybe an eye cream and a moisturizer and be done. I don't need more than that when I travel and it's just less things that I have to pack. Now, another retinoid product that I have in my empties, but I'm currently not using is the Curology Tretinoin Compound. And I have always sung the praises of Curology and I still do. If you are someone who wants to get 
a tretinoin in your routine, I highly recommend Curology. A lot of people say the agency, their sister company is amazing. I never use the agency because the main difference in that is some hyperpigmentation ingredients that they add, and I don't struggle with that, at least not right now. So I didn't see the need to change over. Either one is going to be a great option if you are wanting to get a tretinoin into your routine because they do compound it with other really strong, nice ingredients. I just am giving my skin a break from Tret. I was on it for probably three years constantly, and I'm really loving right now the Hydra right now, and I'm just taking a little break. I'm not saying I'm not gonna get back into it, but right now I'm not, and this is my last empty of the Curology. This bottle leaked in my empties, and it's gross, but this is the 35% vitamin C plus perfecting serum from Allies of Skin. And I will say that this particular bottle, bottle had an issue with leaking when I pumped it anyways, but this actual serum is fabulous. This is a 35% vitamin C with 25% L-exorbic acid, 10% tetrahexadecyl exorbate, superoxide dismutase, and glutathione complex. I have had no irritation with this despite it being a 25% LAA. It is a stabilized version. It's not going to turn on you. I've never had issues with that and I'm currently going through another bottle as we speak. I am interchanging this with my Medicaid C Tetra Lux. Love both of them, but I really recommend this. Allies of, Allies of Skin is a great skincare company. Another product that I have sung the praises of quite a bit and I'm currently using a backup of is the Epiance Intense Defense Serum. And this is an A, B, C, D, and E vitamin based serum. It is an all-in-one. When I traveled out of the country in April, I took this as my morning serum and that was it. I did this and the Allies of Skin and I was good to go for the morning. Topped with some sunscreen, out the door. I love this so much. Again, I'm currently going through a backup. I like to use this on the nights that I exfoliate. So I use it a couple of nights a week or I will take it with me when I travel and use it in the morning as that step. Very, very good. Been loved for a very long time for very good reasons. Another vitamin C is my beloved Truth Treatment Systems Transdermal C Serum. I finally ran out of this. And when I say finally, it's because these last forever, despite the high price tag, when you really kind of put that against how long they last, it's not as bad as you may think. And this is a fabulous tetrahexadecyl exorbate based serum that I have used for years and years and years and love very much. I have not repurchased yet because again, I am currently using a couple of other vitamin C's that I love, but it will be back in my rotation at some point because it is one of the best. The Sente Dermal Contour Pressed Serum. I have talked about this a lot because I've gone through many of them. Sente is a fabulous skincare brand that I highly recommend pretty much everything they make. And I have used this for a very long time in my morning skincare routine. I'm currently going through my backup to this one. I do not have a backup because I am going to eventually try to see how I can minimize my routine and still have the same effectiveness. And I think this might be one of the first ones I take out for just a little bit of time to see if I see a difference. And you best believe if I see a negative difference, I will promptly put it back. But I just feel like there are a couple of steps that I may be able to eliminate and find products like the Allies of Skin that take the place of multiple steps. And I'm going to try to go a little bit without this, but it might be hard because I absolutely love it. And then finally, one that I don't wanna go without is the Definage 8-in-1 Bio Serum. This is my empty one, but you best believe I'm going through another one. This is so good, so good. I have so many videos lately about this, so definitely check my channel if you wanna hear more about it, but it is a all-around wonderful, anti-aging serum packed with deficins, which really stimulate some cells to get to work in making your skin stay as youthful looking as possible, and I highly recommend it. 
And that is it. That's a lot of empties, but I've definitely had more. And I think a lot of them are redundant, which sometimes can get a little annoying, I know. But a lot of times, y'all tell me you appreciate the redundancy because it shows you that I actually really do love the products. I'm not just saying I do. So hopefully you enjoyed. I will have everything listed and linked down below. A lot of these have discount codes associated with them, so be sure and check that out as well. Be sure and like and subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day.